Now going being near the Aries Dome. It's time to get to here. To the sewer access. A place where I could have gone much before, but I didn't. With very and monsters. It's quite noticeable the fact that they designed this place so that you can get here early in level of difficulty. Weird frog things, but they act. Uh, yeah, they they designed the place so that you can get here and progress and all that. But they didn't give you any kind of incentive to do so, and uh, so. Uh, monsters. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, I was saying, lack of incentive. They made it so that you can get here and get through this and there's even a boss, foreshadowed Sir Crawley. But, as this would be completely long term dead end, it's a bit different. Uh, much danger, but not so, not actually. Uh, just walk around and see what's this note. Yeah, that probably doesn't. But the guy who was doing that was probably wasn't as armed with weapons of ex old fashioned power. So let's just make a noise. Annoy the cat. Yep, monsters appear. Yep, monsters appear, but they are very weak in your in comparison. If you would have come here much earlier, they would have been quite powerful indeed. But, of course, you can avoid the monsters by avoiding all those noise-making things. Like... Saving spots. Which is fake, because it makes that ding noise, and ding noise attracts monsters. So yeah, that's actually quite handy little... Little, little misdirection from there, and a couple of wobbly things. Wobbly things which died very easily and without any kind of effort. So just waltzing through this all these sewer spaces. And opening a door, which hopefully gets me further. So, yeah. They despite this game being very well made and extremely well regarded when it came out, and still well regarded. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. They can't reach it. Yeah. They were quite, quite silly. It's the, it, it has lots of good things, of course. It could, couldn't be this much of a classic if it didn't have good things. But it had certain, you could say, thing issues with pacing, like this part that hey, you can come here much earlier, but hey, we give you no incentive to do so, but you can get fu some fine foreshadowing if you do, and you have no in in incentive to actually come here earlier. So, huh? Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, that's. That must. That's a Crawley! He's a big centipede monster. And God was smart. And there's not even made, given a good, good old fashioned decent boss music to him. But he knows how to stomp ya. Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, that put hit points to one. I wonder can he still survive in one vault fight. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, that should tell me how much of a joke that thing is. He didn't even get a boss music. And when a boss monster does not get a boss music, you know it's a joke boss. Or at least the game may consider it a joke pass, or at least it might be joke pass narrative sense, although it might be a horrifyingly powerful monster. 
These are not. Well, so here it is. In, a, in that sense, you could say that the Chrono Trigger, as much as Squaresoft could make, is or is making remakes, deserves one because it has some. It has does have some issues about pacing and all that, but not much, not badly. So, but I guess I left the sewer. So let's just go to death, be given though explicitly warned us not to do so. There's lots of wind, and it just throws us off. Yep, you can't get there. But here's the dome, keeper's dome. But there doesn't seem to be anybody here. So let's just check these recordings if there's any. And that's also a new. And there is no really crazy person around here. Even though you could have come here earlier and see the crazy person. And open the door. The creepy corridor. And these are way storytelling. So, Lavos is a monster which eats planet's energy. And this, I guess, this end of the world is how it starts to eat. Yeah, now you should be scared about what Lavos is. Indeed. Now that is a poetic name. Wings of Time. Which of course it quite uh, implies quite strongly what it is. And, let, and let's bring the technology savvy Luca here to admire this huge, beautiful machine. Appears to be pushing something. I think Epoch is a good name for it. So that's a, yes, it's quite spooky, yet sad. Right, take off. Oh, actually, no, not, not, don't take off. Let's get off first. Let's see what is this thing doing. Oh, it's not doing anything specific, it just mumbles on the same message. Now let's leave the end of time and play visit to the end to the end of time future. Let's play visit to the end of time. With machine that can travel to time.
Yes, it's a time machine. Is it part? Yep, yep. I just found myself a time machine. And what's the old man's idea? Did does the guy in at of the end of time no have any knowledge about end of time itself? But now I can actually go a bit further. Ah uh, yeah, end of time, future, day of lovers, present, middle age, dark age. And be historic era and with a nice swirly background, so time to go ahead to Dark Age. Although Dark Age is seen as a sinister term, but it actually isn't actually so. Yeah, the machine can just arrive to one place. Yet. Yeah. And I have arrived to the Dark age, so they so sorry Dalton and Prophet, but you didn't actually succeed. Stop prevent me. You did go cause a setback, but didn't stop me. Time to head to Terra Cave. And you could have come here earlier, but they would not have any ladders, so you would not have gone further. Oh these people look bad. They are slaves. But who did banish you from there? Yeah, sell me stuff. Uh, and they have all kinds of nice thingamajiggeries in here. This ladder and corridor thing is, and this must be. Oh, things are looking bad. And apparently, that creepy kid Janus is even more powerful, or maybe you could say has more potential to be more powerful. Than, than anybody else. And I'm certain that Janus is... He, he. So there's a beast. Yeah, I do sleep. And Luca doesn't sl sleeps without wearing her helmet. And why would she always wear that helmet anyways? It, it looks quite cumbersome and uncomfortable. So, he... So, there's a mountain of woe and... To get there I must get to Beast's Nest. So let's just go through the Beast's Nest and kill it. Or just go through it and hope it doesn't die. Kill, get killed. Uh, let's take, bring out uh, Isla because, well, I, I like, I, I like having a cave, cave woman in my group, in, in crew, just because, hey, that's a cave woman. Cave women are stereotypically very strong, so having a that kind of person in your group is not a bad idea at all. A robo as well, just because I need some brute strength and more beasts to kill.
Now, continuing. There's a red beast and a blue beast and a weird critter. Yes, I am passing. With which makes it a boss fight. Falcon hit. Oh yeah, that mud imp is throwing stuff at the beasts and the beasts get upset from that. So we just... Falcon hit slice them real nicely. Oh yeah, then the beast stomp. Let's see the robot hack all the day. Oh yeah, that doesn't really do cause much pain to those things. So let's just use the matter method of focusing on one beast at a time until it kills or until it kills over. Yeah, the mud imp jumps on the beast all the time. And he, he also knows the status affecting attacks. Healings. Yep, what a big chunk of damage to that beast. Oh, you missed! Yeah, you know, you just woke up Chrono. And he actually knows how to counter attack. Yeah, that, that demands a specific accessory that there's a counter attack chance. Well, very quite a big chance, but still just a chance. And the coloration of those beasts, uh, of course, corresponds to the, you could say, elemental affinities. Fire attacks heal red beast, and blue beast it does not get healed by fire. Fire attacks it actually heals from water attacks. Robo does the healing part. Mostly just spamming heal beam because hey, that's a really handy move. Alright. And in this kind of fights, it's usually tact tactically wise to, in a sense, if it if it works really something that there's a couple of bits and then a central part, is by first weakening its basic attack and then going for the center. At least in this fight, if I remember right, the basic tactic is very good using that, doing that way. As in the, in this case. Attack the blue beast first uh, until it kills over. Then, aim, then it's time to aim for the mud mud beast, mud imp, and finally take off, kill out the red beast. Oh damn it, basic rock throw for my that does more damage than that double tech. Oh yeah, there, there's a quite annoying thing about all these techniques in this game is that you really can't pick, in a sense, figure out uh, which are more effective and which are not. Oh, it's taking to itself to heal. I wonder, well... Let's go 
I was walk biking. And of course, if it keeps always healing more, then I can actually damage it. Oh yeah, it does. So it's time to go for the beast. But now it can't do as much as annoyance because it has only one, it has less beasts to command and to attack me. And just regular smack something to the head at that move. Yeah, so, so yeah, just keep keep bullying that thing to run around. See what how much good it does to you. Robo tackle. And of course my techniques are, and strategies are not most likely not the most efficient one in this game because hey, it's been a bloody long time I've played through this game and uh, I just want to keep my memories as fresh and unawoken as it could be. Well that was a really scary move. But I lost losing lots of uh, pop and magic points. Yeah, pickles slash to its fa ugly face. Yeah, keep throwing all those rocks. Now it doesn't it doesn't seem to do counter attack moves. Or it is. I wonder if you have a... Oh, yeah. Now it's... It's not even as... Its defenses have gone down. So now it can... I can damage it more than it can heal itself with those counter attack moves. And it already died. So it is time to... Enter Mountain of Woe, which actually floats. And these things that I'm not gonna, I, I'm now gonna fight are quite interesting. It's they got rubble and they block out your every move except your basic attack. And of course, and they have very huge evasion, so you don't necessarily hit them well. But attacking them and wailing at them is very much worth it because they give out a big chunk of XP and a bit and especially more importantly ability points when they are going come on come on give me a chance oh yeah three hits about 600 damage yeah, thousand. Yeah, hundred ability points from killing those things, which is a very good deal. And there's lots of critters. As I have to say, this place is named Mountain of Woe, so of course it would be very bosome thing to actually try to get through here. And they certainly weren't bluffing when it came to the, came to that part. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to actually uh, get out of this place and restore my health and magic points and all that kind of necessary thing so I can actually start affecting this place much more effect go there much effectively. So, but the, you can still see that the plot has got a much thicker, as in, well, Kingdom of Zeal, led by Queen Zeal, and she does not like anybody questioning her authority, so she gets rid of them with 
nice way and or less nice ways either. And she also advocate, advocates slave labor as well, so she ain't nice person. But and how in hell would a robot need sleep? I do not know. But well, he does. And so let's just use the ding save spot and maybe I might continue next time. Or maybe not. But still, getting forward to Mountain of Woe. See ya!